Greeting, greeting, this is Mark Brown. We're going to be looking at how we can create file on our computer. Yes, we're going to create file on our computer and then several things we have to actually do with it. So these are some instructions that we're going to be looking at exactly and how we're going to follow how to create the file. So the first one we're going to be looking at right here, very important, is how to create the file, right? Second, how to save the file. Because when you create the file, you want to know how to save the file. So how to copy and paste the file. So if in case you have to email a copy, you know exactly how to do it. How to cut and paste the file, right? When you cut it, actually move it from the original position. How to drag and drop the file. So you can actually drag it and drop it anywhere you want it on the desktop, right? So how to cut multiple files and paste it. Yes, guys. So for instance, there are six, seven, or eight files. Just want to drag all of them one time. I cut the whole of them and put them in a folder. I cut out the thing out of the folder, put out. Very important. We cannot get to that. Right? It's how to rename the file. Very important. So we're going to get started. Right? So the first thing that we wanted to do, definitely, is to come right here on the desktop. So we're going to right click. You know what is right here? New. We're going to come across. We're going to actually select your document just like that. All right, let me close this so far. All right, let me close it. The word one, well, not the access. All right, so very important. So here you go, this is the word one. All right, so you notice they actually create this particular document. But what you wanted to do now is to what? Is to save it. It's very important here. All right, if you notice right here, it says save it. So all we're going to save it. Right, it's very important. Are we going to save it here? All right, so we're going to save it. Simple, we have open the document. We open the document. This is where you're going to actually save the document. We're going to click right here on file. It's going to come out of the way down where it's a save us. You're going to click on save us. You notice you can come right here and browse, or you can save it to any one of these accounts up here. But you're going to click on browse. All right, you notice you're going to hit the scroll bar. Scroll up, you're going to click right here on the desktop. Now you're going to actually give it a name. All right, I'm going to give it to me. Come all the way to the right here and just click and you save it. Very important, so you can actually close it. All right, if you notice, there you go. Now that. So the next thing that you wanted to do is how to copy and paste the file. All right, so you want to copy and paste the file. First, you have to put the cursor on it. You're going to right click. You notice this when you come over, you're going to come out here. This is self with the red piece. I'm going to click on red piece. All right, I'm going to put the cursor right out here. I'm going to right click and click on red piece. All right, very important there. So if I want to do that again, I'm going to put the cursor on it like that. All right, click on it and then click on copy. I'm going to put right there, so I'm good. Yes, very important. So I'm going to go to the next one. Right, and the next one I said no, it was how to cut and paste. You're going to actually cut it. Or you're going to cut it, you're going to put the cursor on it, right click. You notice know, this is the word cut, you're going to word cut, you're going to put it right here. I put it right up here and right click, and I click on the word piece. So you actually move from here. So you're going to put the cursor on it, you're going to right click, you're going to click the word cut, put it up right here, you're going to click right click again and click on the word piece. Put the cursor on it, right click, hold on to the word cut. All right, you put the real on it, I'm gonna piece, I right click it. Very important. Next thing that you wanted to do right here is how to drag and drop the file. All right, so what you want to drag and drop, you're gonna put the cursor right here. All right, if you're losing a laptop with the touchpad, all right, using a desktop, using a mouse. Put the cursor on it, hold on the left side of the mouse or the left side of the touchpad. And drag it like that. Put the cursor upon it while on the left side of the mouse at the touchpad and drag it like that. Do the same thing and drag it like that. What if you want to move everything together? Just hold on the left side and just block everything like that. Drag it and block it. Put the cursor upon it, hold on the left side and come here, everybody move just the same. Very important. That's a drag and drop. Right? It's an auto cut multiple file and paste it. Very important. How are you going to do that? What you want to do is to block it like that. You notice everything highlight, so you're going to put the cursor upon it, you're going to right click, and you're going to go down to the right cut. 
right? And then you're gonna put the cursor right down here, you're gonna right click, you're gonna put the word piece, right? And that is how you actually do it, right? So I'm gonna do everything right here now. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna click on word cut, come right up here, right click again, I'm gonna click word piece. So this is your cut and paste multiple file. All right, the next thing you wanted to do is how to rename the file. Very important. In order for you to rename the file, put the cursor on the file, right click. I'm going to go right down to the word rename. Click. All right, I can type exactly what you want. I want to finish, you press enter. Right click on it. Right click on the file, go down to rename. And you can type in exactly what you, what you want in it. Now I don't appreciate it. Right click, go down to rename. And then you can actually type what you want and then you press enter. And that's exactly how you, how you actually do it. Right, so very important. So if you have learned something from this particular video, remember to share it and give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.